Now, I recently posted a picture of this fly on the internet and I've had a lot of people ask me to um, do a video on the tying of it and it's, I call it a twinkle hammer um, because the body, it's uh, much like a conventional clink hammer except that the body is um, sort of twinkly, I like to call it. In any case, this is the hook I'm going to use here. Um, as you can see it's upright, not that that makes any real difference, but what I do to the hook is I give it another bend, so I catch it in the vise and I give it another bend around the middle, so if you look at it now you'll see that this, this part of the hook is dropped down, so this is the part that will be under the water whenever the fly is fished, so, okay, I'm going to make a start, I'm going to use black tying thread in 8 0, start just behind the eye. And I walk my way back to about half ways on the thread part of the hook. And then I use um, closed cell foam to form the post. Um, you can use any colour you like. I'm using this sort of high vis green colour. There's orange, I have uh, yellow. It comes in a variety of colours and um, you can use whatever colour you like. So I'm just going to pinch that there and tie it in. Tie it down tight. And when I have it tied in then I go clockwise around the base of it. Working up the way vertically and then when I've created that little space that you can see there I walk my way back down and now I'll go down around the bend of the hook. Right down as far as where it's almost to where it's gripped in the vise. And then at this point I add in silver wire. In this case it's hen's silver wire and the size I think is 0 0.18 if that means anything to you. So break off just enough to do this fly. I tie in the wire as you can see here. I follow it up now. I have to tie it into place. And then I walk my way back down again. Now next material is this is pearl tinsel. And um, this particular one is made by UTC, but uh, medium flat pearl tinsel. That's what I'm going to use to make the body. This is the twinkle part. So let's cut out a piece of that. Now, and again, tie that in much like you did the silver wire. Now I'm using black tine silk, but if you use, say, for example, red or orange tine silk, you get a different effect and a different colour on the body, because right? the the thread colour will show through the the pearly um, mylar or whatever it's called, pearl tinsel. Yeah, it will show through. So in this case, I'm using black. So I'm just touching turns. Up and on to where the post is, and then I tie that in. Four or five tight turns just to make sure it doesn't go like this. And trim it off. Yeah. Next thing is the silver wire, and what I'm going to do is open turns anti clockwise in the direction opposite to the tinsel because it reinforces it by. By doing that, open turns until I reach again just in front of the wing post. Tie that in, good few turns, make sure it doesn't go like this. I'm going to snip it off. And that's the twinkle body, um, as I call it. Next, I'm going to use. 
a red game hackle. Now, and also you can vary it and you can use different color hackles or different types. Grizzle is good. Um, I'm just going to use this red game because um, it's the one I pictured on the picture I posted. So um, I'm running out of good feathers on this particular saddle, but I'm sure I'll find one that will do the trick. Yeah, here we are. Now, strip the, the feather to expose the central stem and tie it in. Now when I have my feather tied in, I then dug the thorax portion of the fly and um, I'm going to use black. This is a possum. Um, I'm going to use black. You can use other colours if you if you want. So I dub on. I don't know about two inches or thereabouts of a dubbing rope. Now, I'm going to make a thorax from this, from there and behind the wing, or behind the wing pole, should I say. Right. Now, the hackle pliers and grab the hackle, and in the little gap that you created, you wrap the feather anti clockwise. Each turn under the preceding one. And then tie that in. Snap it through the hackle. I just pull everything out of the way with my finger, my index finger, and my thumb. Create a little head. Put everything out of the way again. Quick finish, four or five turns. And a second finish just for security. Trim off the tiny thread. And then we cut the foam post. And that's it. That's the twinkle hammer. Great fly because the body hangs under the surface and the hackle obviously keeps keeps it afloat. And um, as I say, vary the colours around and um, it's a super successful fly on rising trout. Also very good uh, if you fish blind, if you're fishing the water so to speak, and it'll bring fish up and they'll take it. Very successful fly, the twinkle hammer.